Hey marketers, welcome back to our channel. Today I have something incredibly exciting to share with you, specifically tailored for e-commerce entrepreneurs. So by now you've heard about the capabilities of markopy.ai and today I'm going to show you how to use it specifically for your Shopify store. So in this video you will see how to create SEO optimized product descriptions that not only drive traffic but also improve your sales. But first, what is markopy.ai? Well, markopy.ai is an AI-powered SEO tool that helps you create high-quality content for your online store. It can help you create SEO-friendly and persuasive product descriptions that are tailored to your audience. And this will help you increase your Shopify store's visibility and ultimately improve your conversion rates. So let's get started together. Head over to markopy.ai and sign up for a seven days free trial. And for e-commerce purposes, we are going to focus on SEO product descriptions and blog posts. One of the best features of markopy.ai is that it can create SEO optimized product descriptions that are tailored to your audience and also packed with relevant SEO keywords so that you increase your search engine rankings and ultimately you boost your sales. Let me show you how to do this. Simply let Mark do its magic thanks to its AI and SEO optimization tool. Let me show you how it works. Okay guys, let me show you how to optimize the product descriptions with the right SEO keywords. So we head over to markcopy.ai workflows here. As you can see on the screen, we have the section workflows and I have a bunch of AI workflows that I can run to optimize my product descriptions. Here, uh, as you can see, we have this product description and we want, so it's a candle, you know, very classic, and we want to optimize the product description for SEO. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this product description and I'm going back on workflows and I will go on the rewriter workflow here. This workflow is connected to SEMrush, so it's going to include my uh, SEO keywords inside the um, product descriptions. Uh, I missed the <laughs> workflow. So here, as you can see, <clears throat> so here we copy the product descriptions and we go back to markcopy.ai and we are going to click on text editor. We uh, passed our product description, as you can see on the screen right now, and we have the all-in-one SEO and AI tool. So we have the SEO score on the screen uh, on the right. And the thing that we are going to do is we are going to run an SEO analysis. So we are going to focus on a primary keyword that we want to rank for. You need to think of your audience now. We, you need to think of what is the main uh, keyword that they are going to search for. Here it's pretty easy uh, for this product. It's going to be large uh, jar candle. All right, so I'm going to pass these keywords on markopy.ai and I'm going to run uh, a SERP analysis, an SEO analysis. Large jar candle, start analysis. So now Mark is going to analyze my competitors and is going to recommend me SEO keywords to include in my content. Um, they will also, it will also show my competitors and also show SEO suggestions uh, that I can use. But the most important part is really those keywords because it's going to analyze what your competitors are doing, are doing on the first uh, page of Google and it's going to recommend you some SEO keywords. Here, as you can see, we don't have the word jar inside our keywords and we definitely don't have enough times the word candles. Um, home also, uh, you know, Mark detected that some of my competitors are using these keywords and I need to also include them if I want to rank for them. So I don't have enough the words jar, I don't have enough the words home. Um, so, you know, it's great SEO suggestions that I can include in my product uh, description if I want it to rank better. And soon we will have an SEO optimizer workflow that include your keywords directly in the product descriptions. All right, um, and so this is how you can include these keywords. Let me show you another workflow. So first, uh, I'm going to show you the competitors tab. You have, uh, you, you see, you have some of your competitors. So here we have Keystone Candle uh, that have um, the average number of words, the average number of titles, the average number of links and images, all right? And for the SEO recommendations, we have the number of words, we have the number of H2 titles that are recommended, 
and uh, the images. Okay, now that we have these recommendations, we are going to another workflow. So we know that we need to include the word jar uh, more times. So we get back to our uh, workflow sections and we are going to the rewriter workflow. Here we passed our uh, product description and we are going to give an AI instruction to the tool. We're going to tell him add more time the word jar to this description, to this product description. So thanks to Mark SEO recommendations, we are uh, capable of going to the rewrite a workflow and add an AI instruction to tell Mark to rewrite this product description with the right keyword. We are going to click on rewrite and then we are going to get an SEO optimized product description. Here I selected the optimistic um, tone of voice, but I could have selected another tone of voice if this is more, um, you know, if this is better for my brand. And I have a new product description here, as you can see. And I'm super interested to see the word jar. So here about the product, a jar full of joy. And this is going to help me to, uh, to rank higher in the search uh, in the search. So this uh, on Google, it's going to help me to rank higher. As you can see, I have this, so I'm going to put it an H2 to also get a higher SEO score. Uh, and this should be an H2 as well, because Mark recommended us uh, to add more H2s to our product description. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, here, the number of jar, I'm going to have it two times, I, I think or just one time, but it's in the H2, so it's very relevant. I could add it more times uh, if I want, but here, as you can see, I have a more optimized uh, product descriptions. I could also tell to the AI to add uh, four times the word jar, because here I didn't add, uh, you know, uh, a specific number of times, but if I uh, include the number of times, then uh, Mark should be able to write uh, jar more times here. So let's see what, uh, what Mark is going to recommend us. So we have a new product description here and the jar time is, on, is now like uh, included three times. But as you can see, we have four jars of Bureau Magical, uh, four jars, so here, yeah, I think it's a uh, thought that uh, we need to include four jar, but you get you get the idea. Like you can add a specific AI instruction to tell to the AI to rewrite your product descriptions in a more SEO optimized. And then I'm going to click on the full editor and I'm going to, um, you know, uh, to add my primary keyword, which was large jar, jar candle. I'm going to run the analysis and now my product description is going to be more SEO optimized because I added more times the word jar, all right? So let's see our new SEO score with this new product description. I really liked how Mark uh, added the H2 in the past product descriptions with the word jar. I think this is super relevant and you need to uh, keep that in mind when you create your SEO optimized product descriptions. Uh, so here we have the word jars, okay, so it, it added jars, you know, um, but we could uh, take off the word, uh, the just uh, the, the S spelling, and now we will have more time jar. So here, if we look at this section, as you can see, we have the word jar that is appearing just one time now, and we should include it between four and six times. So Mark give you the recommended number of occurrence to uh, optimize your product description. So this was to optimize a product description now, let me show you uh, how to create a brand new uh, product description with some product information. So let's get back to our rewriter workflow and let's add our product details. We are simply going to add our product details here and we are going to add an AI instruction, write an SEO optimized product descriptions descriptions that include my primary keyword, large jar candle. And then you can add instruction to your audience. Uh, my audience is 
you know, it's uh, is consumer. So be funny and um, so be funny and and natural. We are going to click on rewrite. I can select the tone here and the language, so I can be more friendly, for example. So be friendly and natural. Awesome. We are going to click on rewrite, and now based on this information, Mark is going to write me an optimized SEO product descriptions here. So I have. Uh, my description. I could uh, add more info here because as you can see it wrote an entire product descriptions uh, based on the information that I entered here. So if I went and, g and uh, gave like more uh, instructions, let me show you, the product description is going to be way better. So now I added a how to use description here. So maybe the product description is going to be a little bit longer based on this information because it has more input, as you can see. And now I have a brand new product description. And what I love with this is that if we go back to the edit with full editor, we go back to our SEO score here and we can add large jar candle. And now we are going to see our SEO score, but as you can see, we have uh, the large jar candle. So it is uh, optimizing my product description for this specific keyword because I told him to do it. Floral fra uh, fragrance here, we have the dimension. So it takes also into, into account the specificity of the product to write its product description. And now we have the word home, we have the word jar, but as you can see, we need to follow uh, Mark's recommendations to include the keyword. But in our V2 is going to optimize it automatically for SEO. So stay tuned for this. So as you can see, Mark P generated an SEO optimized product description in a matter of minutes. This not only saves you time and effort, but it also ensures that you attract your potential customers organically. You know, these days ads are expensive and you want organic traffic that you own that you control. But that's not all. Markopi.ai can also help you create amazing blog content that helps you drive traffic to your Shopify store. Based on your target keyword, Markopi can help you create long form content such as how to articles for your audience and also top 10 lists, reviews, transactional content and much more. So you will be able to provide value to your target audience while improving your SEO rankings. So let me show you how Markopi works for your blog post content. So I showed you how to use Mark for product description but now let me show you how to use Mark for SEO blog post, which is very important for your e-commerce store if you want to drive organic traffic and ultimately sales and conversion rate. Um, so blog posts, you can have a lot of content ideas for blog posts. You can compare your product with uh, other products. You can also create how-to guide to show your visitors how to use your product. You can create a list like the five top best candle, for example, and it will really help your visitors to understand how to use your product. And ultimately it create trust and put you as an authority in your niche if you use, uh, if you create this type of content. So I highly recommend you to try the blog post workflow here. We are going to create a content uh, like the top five best uh, candles to buy. I'm going to go for a friendly tone of voice here, going to click on next. And now the AI is going to suggest me uh, some keywords. So as you can see, our content is very transactional. Uh, so this is why I like also this type of content because this uh, drive conversions immediately. So I really like this type of content. It's not informational, it's really transactional here. And I have some uh, recommendations of keywords to focus on. So best candles for men, best affordable candles if I want, best scented candles, best candles for home. Uh, and I also have the keywords difficulty. Best candles for home, non-toxic, best candles for men, uh, best affordable candles. So this has a low difficulty score and I might go for this one. I'm going to click on next and now the AI is going to suggest me um, a brief for my blog post. Here, as you can see, it adds a lot of questions that my uh, potential visitors, potential clients are looking for. And it can be, it can give me ideas of uh, also content to write for. So for men, 
for woman, for bathroom. Here I'm just going to uh, refresh the, the brief so I get more uh, ideas. And here as you can see, uh, Mark is giving me some ideas for my brief. I can refresh, I can also generate more. Uh, so the choice is mine. But they're also okay. So as you can see, the brief is really different when I refresh. So this can give me also uh, a lot of ideas to create my SEO brief. Not sure what it does this. Let's generate more. Um, check the week quality and also week was uh, an SEO keyword uh, that uh, Mark suggested us so I think this one is pretty good look, look for candles so here it's almost like a guide buy candles that are not made with uh, so as you can see it gives suggestions so this is pretty cool and we can also recommend our own products by our recommendation the large uh, the large jar candle i think that was uh the name of the product large jar candle perfect and there we are going to add a link to our product so you create the blog post that drive traffic to your product this is the entire goal of this we click on next and now the AI is going to suggest us uh, a more structured brief so these are the H3 parts and it gives structure to our content. You are not only going to have the H2s but also the H3s which are super nice in SEO because it increases your search, your search ranking. And it also adds a lot of your uh, SEO keywords. As you can see, we have Wick here, uh, we have Candles, we have Environmentally Friendly. So it adds a lot of uh, things that uh, uh, potential customers are looking for. And then the magic happens here I'm going to click on next and Mark is going to write me an SEO optimized blog post that I can use for my blog. And then I can uh, include my product, my product link inside this blog post and it's going to grow uh, my search engine rankings and also boost my sales. The, the, the two things that we want. So it usually takes about one or two minutes to write an entire blog post that is optimized for SEO. And then we are going to get back to the full text editor to optimize it even more by adding links, uh, by adding images, by really making sure that we link to our product uh, so that we can drive more sales. So you see, this is really an entire uh, SEO blog post that is optimized for SEO. So not only does it save me time, it also helped me to increase my search engine rankings and also boost my conversion rate. As you can see here, we have the perfect candle. Here's a list of my top five picks, some of the, um, like some uh, a guide. And finally, we can include at the end of the article, our recommendation, which is the large R candle. You won't regret it. And then we, put, we can uh, include our, our product link here. Uh, as you can see, you can write more if you're not satisfied with the length, or you can refresh if you want another introduction, for example. I'm going to click on continue. And then this is a part where I can review my content, I can add images, I can add links, uh, I can also further optimize my SEO by doing an SEO uh, competitor's analysis. So there is so much things that I can do here. And now I'm back to my blog post. And as you can see, I have the top five best candles to buy articles, which can link to my product links. Uh, that's the whole idea. You drive people from your blog to your product. And because they read your guides, your how-to articles, your product comparison, they are more likely to buy from you because they have more trust in your website and in your products since they've read from your uh, blog. And this is how you become an authority in your niche. So I highly recommend you to have a blog. I don't see it often in e-commerce stores, especially on Shopify, but this can really help you to uh, also engage your audience and, in, and create a community around your products. This is very important. So we have our SEO optimized blog post with a, um, a medium score of six, uh, 53. But we can really optimize this score by running an SEO analysis like I showed you previously, uh, analyzing our competitors and also following the SEO suggestions that Mark is giving us. So guys, are you excited to try Mark Pidate for your Shopify store? head over to our website and sign up for a seven days free trial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more e-commerce tips and tricks.